So we just checked our anchor and, well, it's not on a rock, but it isn't set. It's on its side, which is wonderful. Um, pretty nerve wracking to be fair, because we just had 26 knots this morning and we were held um, just by our chain, which is what it's meant for. But I mean, it's not the best seeing your anchor on the side, a noisy dog. So we're gonna pick up and move. We're Becca and Zach, a couple who recently, after years of dreaming, bought ourselves a beautiful 40-foot Colvick Victor sailboat. Life is short and the world is wide and there are so many lessons to be learned. Laughs shared, people met, adventures had, and nautical miles to be sailed. And this is our way of sharing it all with you. Welcome to the Tailey. Bloody doing it. <laughs> we had sailed the previous day from the little volcanic island of La Graciosa to the southern end of Lanzarote. We were greeted by the most spectacular sunset. A lot of wind. Our Windex shows less than it actually is. It's like a confidence Windex um, because it's slightly broken. The bearings have gone, so it spins slower. So when that says 26 knots, we know it's pretty windy <laughs> and a rocky bottom. Sand all around it and it's mostly dug. Okay, cool. I'm happy so with that. It's, it's, it's better than anywhere else I've seen so far. That's good that there's sand all around it. Yeah. Can you see where it... Oh, it wouldn't have It's deep there. Yeah, well done. Did you go all the way to the bottom? Yeah. Oh my like, I tried to move it and dig it more, but I couldn't lift it. But after getting our anchor to set... Yeah, that's so good. We've actually gone forward over it a bit. Yeah. That's really good. It was time to hop in the dinghy and check out what the town was like. It feels good to be finally going into land. Yeah, yeah. it does. We haven't been in a while. It's been like two or three days since we went into land. That is a wicked boat. It's aluminium as well. Is it in the left there? Yeah, look there, dinghies. This is such a cool marina. This, the uh, throttle on here, yeah, I don't think it's the cable that snapped in there because I, I don't know, I need to look into it, but that's basically completely come off and that shouldn't come off. <laughs> but luckily, this used to obviously be attached to the back of the boat where they have like yeah. controls, like a, like a steering control like that. And it was attached to here, so you can actually still control the outboard with this. Oh, I don't think it's as bad as I thought, actually. No? No, it's just a screw that went. Where's that gone? Oh, it's there. Oh, oh, that's the sound the popping it sound must have out. Yeah. This place is so cool. It's so different than anywhere we've been. It's really warm. Is that a real cat? Yeah. Oh. Zach, there's a real cat. Yeah. Hi. Are you gonna let me touch you? Oh, Zach, look at its mouth. Yeah. But yeah, this place is really cool. It's unlike anywhere we've been before. It's very luxurious, but also set. It seems. Like foresty. Yeah, it seems like a resort. Like it all seems really artificial in a way. Seems like if you go to a theme park and all the plants are fake, but I don't know they're not. But it is very nice. <laughs> but we're just walking to get pizza now. It does seem a world away from Tailey though. How cool is that? It's not real. It's not really. No, because look, look at that one there. That is not balanced on that. You see there's like a flat Yeah, one. I think they balanced them. <laughs> <laughs> They're stuck. It's, a, it's an artist. They're not stuck. They are. Look at that. <laughs> You're telling me that's not stuck. No. So if I go and touch that, it's... Well, you're, you're a bad boy if you touch it. Keep going. <laughs> There's so many resorts, but everywhere we come, that's so different from the UK. Just, I pinch myself that we sailed here. Like, we literally powered ourselves from the UK to here. 
without anyone else. Like just me and Zach took ourselves from the UK to here. But look at this place. <laughs> God, smells so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Yum. Play watch garlic. We're just getting ready now to go and explore an underwater museum and apparently it's the first or the only underwater museum in Europe and it looks incredible in photos. There's all different art installations from I think maybe one sculpture or multiple, I can't quite remember, but it looks incredible and there's all these soldier statues under there. So we're gonna go explore it now. I think it's 12 meters deep. So Zach will definitely be able to get down. It's gonna be a bit hit or miss whether I'll be able to get down, but hopefully I'll still be able to see a bit, even from slightly shallower. So yeah, we'll head over and it doesn't look like there's anyone over there at the moment. So fingers crossed it stays that way and we have the place to ourselves. As much as we try to put our experiences into words, this one, we kind of don't have any for. This exhibition was both eerie and beautiful at the same time. With sculptures of the refugee crisis, a deregulated playground, and a human gyre with 200 life-size sculptures placed in a never-ending circle. We had shivers down our spines, and it wasn't caused by the water temperature. This is where we realised we were a bit stuck. We had just been mentioning the last few days how cost effective, sustainable and quiet an electric outboard would be. Oh, it's a bit frayed. It's actually really frayed. Oh, no, that can't get frayed away. And it was as if our trusty little 43 year old Suzuki heard because not only had the bolt dropped out yesterday, but now it wouldn't start and the pull cord was on its last legs again. Let's just hope that doesn't snap. <laughs> so just try it with this bit. I don't know how tough do you think that middle bit is? Paracord? Oh, that was a screw. <laughs> I'll hold it. No. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, yep, you must have seen that one coming. <laughs> we started rowing the mile long trip back to the anchorage and a kind soul took pity on us. We've been saved. And whizzed over in his super duper dinghy to give us a tow. What a legend. Thank you so much. You're an absolute legend, thank you so much. What was your name? Greg. Greg, lovely to meet you. I'm Zach, this is Becca. Becca. <laughs> Oh, right. We'll pop over at some point. Thank you so much. Thank you much. so much, Greg. Really appreciate Have it. Have a nice day. That's so nice. <laughs> what a feeling. 
So we just got back to Taley and we were unloading the stuff and obviously, obviously the bolt that is for the outboard pulls straight in the water. So Zach's just hopped in to try and find it, but we're in about 13 meters, 13, 14 meters here. So I mean, fingers crossed. He just dived down and said he can see it. You got it? No, I don't. It's just an old anchor down there. You got it? No. That's fine, we can pick up another one. For some reason, we didn't find that tiny bolt in 14 meters of water, but we did find a 20 kilo Bruce anchor, which we took delight in taking out of the sea. Oh my gosh, it's massive. <laughs> That's so funny. I thought it was going to be like a dinghy anchor. We found some treasure. Our friends and fish cake are now proud owners of it, and there's one less anchor for other cruisers to snag theirs on. We adored this anchorage, but it sure was rolly. Like plates sliding off tables, drinks spilling, every monohull packing up and leaving kind of rolly. But we were Brits, and a bit of inconvenience never put us off a beautiful place. So we racked our brains for a solution and came up with the swirl bridle. For those unfamiliar with this, you essentially let out more anchor chain Literally the craziest it's been. attach a rope and bring it back to a winch so you can adjust the positioning of your boat to the anchor, kind of like this. The aim is to pull it the correct way. Yep, correct way, Becca. Wait, Zach, is it pulling us the right way? I think it's pulling us the wrong way. Yeah, we're definitely pulling around the wrong way. That's fine. So did we just do it on the wrong side? Can you look over and see where the anchor is, anchor chain is? Well, it's going to be here, isn't it? Yeah, I guess should we try the other way then? In order to get your bow facing into the swell, and thus, roll less. The waves on the beach are absolutely huge. I'd say at least half the anchorage is left. At least, maybe more. There's only about 10 boats left now. I just hope it's okay with wind on your beam. Zach, it is a lot better. Yeah, it's ever better. Wow, we did something. A good feeling. Well, we tried the swell bridle and then we decided. Well, first of all, we pulled the wrong way, which is kind of funny. But what is that noise? Um, but then we pulled it the right way and it was great, except because we'd let out 20 more meters, we were closer to other boats and also the winds were picking up quite a bit. And as we haven't done this before, we weren't sure whether the windage would be too much on the side of the boat pulling on the anchor and would dislodge our anchor. So we decided just to have a little bit of an uncomfortable night. It has calmed down a little bit. Um, but I think we'll just have a bit of an uncomfy rolly night and then tomorrow we'll maybe pick up and move into the slightly more sheltered anchorage. But we're gonna brave it out for now. I think we're gonna have to brave our neighbour's music a bit more than this. <laughs> oh wow, he's got blue LEDs all over the cat too. It's literally him on board as well. It's so funny. He's having a, a one-man party, Zach. Because of his lights on. I know. He's living the dream, Zach. <laughs> funny, he's been here for five years. We spoke to him earlier and he's going to spend another five years in the Canaries. Great wind all the time and nice temperature. Good on him. That's what I say. But it would be nice if he turned his music down just a tiny bit. <laughs> Let go. That's annoying. Let go. <laughs> it's just started. <laughs> it's gotta be that. That's hilarious. <laughs> we can lock it in. No. <laughs> can we lock that in? Yeah, you can. That's hilarious. That's just what you want on a rolly anchorage. Good job. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Good old WD-40. <laughs> Can we just stop that that quickly? That was shocking. 